Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I already started discussion on DynamoDB. We have already covered some fundamental concepts and basic terminologies related to DynamoDB, which is one of the most popular service provided by AWS, especially for hosting NoSQL database system, right? And we have also seen how to insert new element in DynamoDB using Lambda in our previous video. So in our this particular video, we are going to see how we can delete some elements in DynamoDB table from AWS Lambda. Okay. So for that step one will be what? We'll be creating one table in DynamoDB. Okay. So I'll be going to create table and here I will be giving the name as student, student table and for student the primary key can be roll number, right? And that roll number I want to keep number type, short key I'm not mentioning okay and then here i am creating the table so it will be taking some time to create the table okay let it create and by that time what i will do i will open the aws management console in a new tab i'll be going to iam and i will be creating one role for lambda so that lambda can read and write or basically delete elements from dynamodb table okay so i'll be going to create table okay and then here i will go to lambda and then I'll go to next permission and then here I'll be giving cloud watch okay so here cloud watch full access we should give and apart from that DynamoDB access also full access also you have to give we have to go to next and then here we can give the role name as lambda yt delete okay some name I am giving and I am creating the role right it will be taking some time to create the role and here this role is created right now we'll be going back to aws management console we'll be going to our lambda and then here we'll be creating the function and here author from scratch okay so i will give the name as delete demo right and the runtime environment i'll be choosing python 3.9 execution role i'll be choosing just now what i created right and I'll be creating the function, right? So this is the simple step, okay? And here you see that our DynamoDB table also created, the student table was created successfully. Now what we'll do first, we'll be inserting some amount of data in this DynamoDB table, okay? So here I'll be taking the previous code which I discussed already. I'll be copying this particular one and here paste it, okay? Only we have to change the table name. So what is our new table name? Student only, right? So here student only written, no need to worry. And put items, we are basically using to put the data. We will simply click on deploy, okay? And then here we will go to test section. And then here we will be giving the roll number first, okay? So roll number one, okay? Here I am giving name, okay? And here maybe marks we can give, okay? That is also integer kind of 98, okay? So these three fields we are keeping currently. Let us directly click on test, okay? So here execution is successful. Let us make some more entries using this way, okay? Right? And here I'll be putting this and I will click on test again. So it is done, right? Let us go to DynamoDB table and let's see once. Few items, let us click. Two items should be there. So two items got loaded. And then here, let me put third item also. Click on test, it is done, right? And with this, our three items got successfully loaded in our this DynamoDB table, okay? Now, suppose you want to delete some item from the console, that is very simple. Click on any particular item, go to actions, and then here delete items, okay? It will be deleted, right? So, see one item got deleted. Now, we want to do the same kind of thing from Lambda, okay? So, to do that, what I have done here, I have written one code. So, I'll be deleting this particular insert code and I'll be pasting the code for deletion, okay, which is a simple code. I'll be explaining that. 
so here import json import go to three these two fundamental things as we imported for our insertion same thing we are importing and this is our lambda handler function okay right we are creating the resource for dynamodb and we are pointing to this table student you can change this particular name to your dynamodb table and in the event which will basically trigger about this lambda there will be a particular key which is having the role number okay we are extracting that and that role number related item only we are going to delete okay so to do that you can use table dot delete item okay and you can pass the key okay what key that is your primary key if there is single primary key you pass that like this kind of map data type if you are having partition key along with that sort key then you have to pass both of them okay like if you check the documentation here delete item for boto3 resource if you see it deletes a single item in a table by primary key okay that is primary key has to be mentioned if you go below here you will be seeing one important parameter is key okay map type attribute we have to pass that is kind of dictionary format for the primary key you must provide all the attributes that is for example with a simple primary key you only need to provide a value for the primary key for composite primary key that is partition key along with sort key then you must provide both of them okay so make a clear note on this you can go through the documentation for details also so in our this particular case there is no uh, sort key only primary key single primary key is there right that is roll number what we defined while creating the table so we are passing that roll number based on that roll number it will be deleting right so here this is the pretty much it i am putting inside try catch block for error handling and then here what i can do i can simply click on deploy okay so the only expectation is in the event roll number we have to pass right for deletion purpose so i'll be going to test and here no need to pass name and marks for deletion purpose i'll be maybe passing roll number suppose i want to delete this particular item okay which is having roll number one so I will just pass roll number one, right? And then here I will click on test. That's it. Okay. So it will take some time and see here it is done. If I go back to my dynamo it will it is still now showing. I will just refresh this particular page. Okay. And see only one single element related to roll number three it is displaying. Maybe if I pass roll number three in the test event, you will see that that will also be getting deleted. Okay, it is done. If I go here, it is still showing. If I just refresh this particular page, you will not be seeing. Okay, right? So this is the simple code for deletion using boto3.resource. I hope you understood this. The code and the reference links I will be providing in the description box. If you want, you can go through that. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.